Hello children. In the previous video, we learned about equivalent fractions. In this video, we will see some interesting examples of this. Today, Babban, Golu and Chanda have come to buy clothes from Barbole uncle's shop. Babban bought an 18 meter cloth of this design. Golu bought an 18 meter cloth of this design. And Chanda bought an 18 meter cloth of this design. When Babban reached his house, he thought, why not give one third of his cloth to Golu and take a piece of the same length of cloth from him. In this way, they will have two different designs of cloth. Children, can you tell how Babban can make one third of his cloth and how long will it be? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. Absolutely right! In this way, Babban will cut his cloth into three equal parts and take one part from it. And that would be one third of the cloth. If we divide 18 meters into three equal parts, each part will be 6 meters long. If you wish to, you may see. This first part is 6 meters. The second part is also 6 meters. And this third part is also 6 meters. 6 meters plus 6 meters plus 6 meters equal to 18 meters. In this way, this one third part of Babban's cloth will be 6 meters long. Babban took one third of his cloth and reached Golu's house. He told Golu his idea and Golu agreed. But there was one problem. Golu had already cut his cloth into six equal parts. Can you tell how Golu will be able to give Babban a cloth as long as his cloth? Let's see. Golu placed parts of his cloth like this and placed Babban's cloth's part just above it. Now he sees that two parts of his cloth are equal to one part of Babban's cloth. Do you think the same? This means one third part of Babban's cloth and two sixth part of Golu's cloth are equal. Let's look at it in another way. We saw in the beginning of the video that one third part of Babban's cloth is 6 meters long. The length of Golu's cloth is also 18 meters. And he has made 6 equal parts of his cloth. So, how many meters will the length of one part be? Or how many meters will be one sixth of 18 meters 3 meters but Golu has given 2 sixth part to Babban that is 2 parts out of 6 in this way Golu has given Babban 2 times 3 or 6 meters long cloth so you see children Golu has given Babban equal length of cloth. Here the lengths of Babban and Golu's cloths are the same. And one third of Babban's cloth is equal to two sixths of Golu's cloth. Therefore, these fractions are equivalent fractions. Babban took Golu's cloth and went to his house. While going home, he thought, 
why not replace one third of his cloth with equal piece of chanda's cloth in this way he will have three designs of cloths on thinking this he immediately took one third of his cloth and reached chanda's house he told chanda his idea too and chanda also immediately agreed but chanda had cut her cloth into nine equal parts now how will chanda be able to give babban a cloth as long as the part of his cloth chanda just like golu placed parts of her cloth like this and placed babban's cloth part just above it now she sees that three parts of her cloth are equal to one part of babban's cloth children is babban's thinking correct are one third part of babban's cloth and three ninth part of chanda's cloth equal let us now look at it in another way we know that one third of babban's cloth is 6 meters the length of chanda's cloth is also 18 meters and she has made nine equal parts of her cloth so how many meters will the length of one part be or how many meters will one ninth part of 18 meters be 2 meters but chanda has given babban 3 ninth part or 3 parts out of 9 in this way chanda has given babban 3 times 2 or 6 meters long cloth therefore 3 ninth of chanda's cloth is equal to 1 third of babban's cloth and these two are also equivalent fractions in this way 1/3 is equal to 2/6 is equal to 3/9 all these are equivalent fractions babban took 3/9 part of chanda's cloth from her and happily returned home